I have a very long night ahead of me. Okay, so, welcome back. If you're wondering what that noise is, I got a fan going because it's, it's hot. So, the objective of today is get this hood, at least this, the right color. Now, as you can see, there's plenty of scratches, but the closer you get, you can see, like, right there, there's some imperfections from the last paint job. There, these scratches, those I just put in. You can't feel those. Those you can feel, and those you can see through the paint. I've sand those down. There's some chips. There's a chip there. A couple chips there from me um, putting the hood on and off. So, if you're wondering the color, I'll show you here. It's Dupa color, Tordo red, and metallic flake. I tried showing it in my last video, but the code is BFM. 0344. It says replaces DSFM 344. So whatever. Um, this can is about empty. This can's pretty plenty full. I don't think I have enough cans to do this now. They are very tiny cans. Um, no, but there's that fender I did. I mean, you can just see the the color difference. I hope you can on camera. I mean, yeah. There you go. That's plenty obvious. So. It's the it's it's as close of a match as I'm ever gonna get out of a rattle can, so but um yeah, so I have no idea if I'm gonna be getting it painted tonight or just sanded, but yeah, there's another spot, so there's a reason I painted this hood before, but um yeah, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a lot of sanding. So uh the mistake I did before that I should have learned, or I should I should I know now. So I sanded that fender. I use this stuff. Oh, that's just for me testing it quick, make sure I have the right stuff I'm talking about. You want? I'm gonna shut off this fan because there's no way that's not annoying. Okay, I'm just gonna shut it off while I'm talking. Okay, so this is fine emery cloth. Okay, it's 3M, right? Whatever. Before I used coarse, this stuff scratches the paint. This stuff scuffs it up. Just feeling the difference, you can feel. Now that's going to sand it, and that's going to scratch it. Because that feels like really heavy sandpaper. So, if you're using emery cloth, you've been warned. Um, yeah, to put those deep scratches in. It's an asset to it, like. But... Okay. <laughs> you guys here first of all it's hot that's all sweat and like it's you probably can see in the time lapse um, yeah my hands are whatever anywho um, so first of all I'm probably should have cleaned this off before we restart the camera but I didn't big diddy big teddy jeez I can't talk um, those I was not able to sand out. They're kind of just in a weird spot, and you're not going to see them the whole time. 
before you could feel the grooves now I can feel that spot there but the rest of it it's all smooth now that big uh, right there you guys can't even probably see it that's oh my god yeah, it's, it's freaking hot out. Like, I, you know, I can't even touch this hood without leaving a sweat mark. So sorry if you find that disgusting, but I can run my hand over it. Ooh. Sorry if those noises are making you cringe. But I can run my hand over a lot of it. I mean, all that y'all yeah, can still feel, and you'll still see that. But, like, all this, like, from, let's see, from right about there forward, the re this that part of the hood is sanded. So, yeah, um, I haven't gotten that, so there's no way I'm going to be getting paint on this tonight. Uh, probably not. Um, hold on, I got a sneeze coming. But, um, maybe not. Maybe I don't have a sneeze coming. Ah, don't you hate that when you, when you, when you need to sneeze but you can't? God, there's nothing worse than that. Um, but, yep, yeah, I'm going to keep working at this. And then I've got back here to do. And then this side, no, nah, I still scratched it. You might feel that right now. I can feel those grooves, kind of. You have to really be feeling. But here, doesn't look at. There's nothing sticking up. Like looking at it from the side. But this, it's kind of spinning around here. Show you guys what I'm talking about. How I can tell. Those other ones are see that seeing you can see that from the, side. It, the camera doesn't pick it up real well. You can see it a little bit better in, in real life, but whatever. Um, basically, for those of you who don't know, sanding does two things. I'm gonna step away from the fan so you're not hearing just fan. Sanding does one of two things. One, it roughens it up for something for the paint to stick to. Which, by the way, I will not be using primer because this is Rust-Oleum paint and primer, so it'll be good enough. And I wouldn't even use paint or, or I mean. Uh, Primer, uh, if you're repainting a Murray or your lawn tractor, you probably don't unless it's plastic. Which, if it's plastic, before you paint plastic, try plastic thing. Like, yeah, get off that shavings. Look at all the um, products. That's the word. Products for restoring it. But yeah, there's a spot there, and uh, there's a lot of sanding to do. But yeah, I will not be using primer just because this is basically primer. And uh, I've got it sanded pretty good. So there's nothing for it to fill. Um, yeah, so. Huh, I am going to keep going. Put you guys back on time lapse and I'll keep going. This is definitely going to be an all night thing. Next update you'll get is once I have the entire hood done. And I mean everything. So here's a last look at kind of everything. Just there, at least. And then that that I'm gonna pan slowly so most of everything can get picked up that side that's pretty smooth but I mean you can just see in my mowing videos and all that you can you can see the the grooves they're not really scratches anymore these are scratches because those you don't feel those are just like minor imperfections in the paint that another coat would fix you know you just sand it then quick repaint paint it and you'd be fine but those other things, and what was over here, this side was really bad. Those were grooves, so got the grooves out. Now it's just a matter of getting those chips out, which you can definitely feel. I mean, like you can see, I, I'm catching my nail on it. Like the rest of it. Yeah, I'm not slowing down just for that, but there you go. Almost done uh, with this colonial red top part and if anything else is to get painted on here which yeah it's kind of turning night I'd paint this because when you're sitting on a mower oh, you see that more than anything else which is why I do that um so yeah but this is just kind of a video focused on the hood um there'll be more coming tomorrow like because uh, there's no way I'm going to get it painted tonight because I wouldn't be able to see, you know, how the coats are being applied. Because this, the, the two hoods I want applied perfectly. I don't want, like, one mistake I did with this is in my final coats, 
you can see like there was a strip that way then kind of a little bit worse then strip that way you could see how I painted it that is not something that I'm gonna do the clear coat has to be applied perfectly and the base coat has to be applied perfectly um, a base coat clear coat I guess that's the order um, if you want to be technical but whatever um, so yeah but head fan is not doing me a whole lot but it's it's pretty good when I'm standing right here so um yeah let's i'll get you guys back on time lapse so there's your little update um next update you'll see or you'll constantly see me drinking out of the water cup i'll probably have to go in and fill it up um so yeah and no i'm not 50 that's my dad's card from last year <laughs> for the record i'm not 50 okay Okay, well, I'm kind of working on uh, short range here because my phone died, um, which is why there was that split. And the hood, is, I don't know, I haven't looked at it yet, but I'll bet the hood is in a different position. Anywho, here's the entire hood sanded. Got those pretty good. But what I'm really impressed of is this right here. If you run your finger over it, you can not really feel it. I mean, it's, you can still tell it's there, but it's not as bad as before. Same thing with that. That's actually probably worse than that, and that was like down to bare metal with the other paint. So I mean that that is incredible that I got it that sanded like that. But so here's kind of a final little look at it before I uh, give her the old paint tomorrow. So yeah, it'll have overnight to dry. The only thing I've got to tape off, which I didn't do a very good job at last time. Let's see some rubber spray is uh, this. Let's put a piece of tape in between it, and then yeah. So it'll be in the same video. Be picked up tomorrow. So we'll see you guys then. All right. Well, good morning, guys. Got the hood set up and ready to go. Just have it propped up against a piece from the old parts, Mary. Just kind of some pieces I've got there. But, um, those are going to the scrapyard eventually. So I figured if they're just gonna go to the scrapyard, plus even if I was to keep like this, it's, I'm painting this the same color, so what the hell does it matter? Um, this, this should work good to prop it up. Um, I taped off the bottom hood hinge, and uh, that's just about ready to go. Semi truck coming, so it's gonna be hard to hear. Uh, I got the paints, like I said. Now, something I learned from the first time I Paint it. Uh, let me use the new can for it. Hold on. These kind of suck to get open. Right. Maybe I can just do this like this. I'm supposed to use a flathead screwdriver. I got to remember I'm doing this one-handed. So uh, let me just pause the video. Okay. 
You see that little dot right where the nozzle is pointing to? You have to align it to that. Now, I'm not really sure if Duplicolor has that, but it looks like it, so whatever. But um, I was thinking since now I'm doing it the sun, I did three coats on that fender and it turned out awesome. But I'm wondering if maybe I only need to do two coats at the top of the hood and then just fill in like whatever doesn't get completely coated once it kind of dries. I don't know, it's gonna be a day spent on painting because none of my friends can hang out today, so it's an awesome day to paint, too. So I'm gonna start out, finish off whatever's left in here, I'm using every drop of that. There's not gonna be a single bit of paint left in there because this is, this is too expensive to waste. I'm serious, so I'm gonna get you guys set up on the stand outside and get you on time lapse and then we'll uh, get a coat of paint on. Yeah, it's, uh, it's hot out. It's, it's already 81, 83, and it's only like 11 in the morning, and uh, luckily it's not 80% humidity, but um, yeah. I've also got a spray gun tip that I might be using, but we'll, uh, we'll see. For finishing off this can, whichever can it is, this can, I'm just going to use the nothing. I'm not going to have the with another tip on, but eventually I'll get this painted, so I'm not sure if I'm going to get that done today. So the Maria is going to be kind of mixed matched in colors for a little while, but that's all right. problems. I put on this spray tip and then it decided that uh, it wasn't really gonna spray very well and uh, it kind of just splattered all over the fucking hood. I just spent like five hours sanding last night. So I gotta let this dry. I'm not doing anything else. That's not good. That really is not good. Damn it. Oh, this sucks. Well that, well that sucked. Um, Got that one fixed. You can just, I got all of them fixed, don't worry. But while I was waiting for that to dry enough for me to sand it, first of all, I got, I took out the new steering assembly I bought and I put in the other one from the other Murray parts one, put in the steering wheel from that, and uh, that's it for slop. And all the slop that is is just in there. So that feels so good when you're turning. And with this new assembly, I can engage it with the deck all the way up without it catching. Before, it'd catch for some reason, but we're good now. So I'll get you guys back on time lapse, and I will actually get a proper first coat on this thing after I clean it off quick with Windex, because you definitely don't want anything underneath it.
Okay, well, welcome back. It's been a couple days, blah, 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 whatever. You guys know the story. Anyways, um, <clears throat> so it is doing something that no other part of painted has done. Like, look at it. It's orange peeling pretty bad. I don't know why. Like there. And down there. It's not doing it anywhere else. Um, I did just spray Windex. Probably didn't let it dry long enough. So I'm gonna give this hood some time to dry, then I'm gonna use a sandpaper that's designed to take care of that. And then, uh, yeah, but I'm running out of paint in that can, so. However, but as you guys saw, I got the other part of the hood painted. Uh, I've, been, I've been prepping this hood all day. So, yeah, I'm gonna give this thing a good while to dry now. I'm gonna need to sand that anyways. Hopefully the rest of this is okay. See, this paint looks terrible when you first spray it. It really looks like crap, but then it looks good after a while. So. Whatever. All right, before I go back on hyperlapse, um, so I'd show you, I tore this all apart because I'm gonna end up swapping that part, and then this is not supposed to be floppy. That should not be like that. That should be sucked down to the ground. It'd be hard to move up and down. Um, and then it looks like this is bent, which is why I have problems getting it in the sixth gear. So hopefully, you know, that will fix a lot of that. So yeah, I mean, jeez. Uh, but uh, I sanded down that orange peel and I let it cool or uh, dry for a little bit. So hopefully, yeah, it'll be good. But it's, I'm filming in the dark now, as you can kind of see. Um, I just gotta find my flashlight that I can put to my delicious looking hat. And then, uh, yeah, and I'll just have a flashlight on this too. But uh, yeah, so here we go. Okay, well, it's officially dark, and the hood is fucking up when I paint it. Something's goofy, but I got this piece swapped out. It's no longer loose anymore, and uh, that's actually straight instead of being bent like the other one is. But, uh, yeah, I'm calling it for tonight. I, uh, I don't know. Now, this looks awesome. I mean, look at this. This looks perfect. Exactly how I wanted it. I mean, Cherry could still see a little bit of the streaks, but before it was it stuck out like a sore thumb. But this, as you can see, it looks like this is gray, and I don't know what the fuck is going on. Something's, I don't know. And I'm, I'm painting a night, not in the day, so I can't really tell what the hell I'm doing. But uh, yeah, so, excuse me. Um, yeah, there you go. So that's probably all I'm gonna do. I don't really feel like doing anything else, and you can see why. I've torn all this part, and I've been at this since like, I don't know, one before lunch today. So I'm just busy because then I, I just, I can't take any more. Transmission was a pain in the ass to get out. Um, I can't figure out, like now that I have the transmission out, I think the brake is fine. That's also not making sense to me why this is like stuck down like that, but I don't know. Whatever, I'm still gonna replace most of the, I think actually I'm just gonna do the whole brake system, um, minus transmission. Cause something catches and I don't, I just, it really freaks me out. Especially when today I got to right where the basketball hoop is on the driveway and uh, the Murray decided to, you know, keep crawling. Now, I was in first gear maybe, and I was at idle, but that still isn't normal. But whatever, I don't know. Anyhow, thanks for watching. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. It's a long video, so part two is coming whenever. I don't know.